Republican presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson is surging past Donald Trump in the latest poll out of Iowa. So, why should we care? Well, the Iowa caucuses serve as an early indicator of which candidate will eventually win the nomination. So just how accurate are these early polls? KRD on News Channel 13's Eric Fink shares some insight from a man who knows a thing or two about politics. Four months ago, Donald Trump launched his presidential campaign. And all through the summer and into the early fall, the bombastic businessman I never attacked him on his look was the clear frontrunner for the GOP nomination. Now, the latest Iowa poll shows Trump falling to second behind Ben Carson. Colorado College political science professor Bob Levy says Iowa is unique, famous for producing weird results. He I should know he studied presidential country, campaigns uh, for more than half a century. Political. Carson in Iowa has done a good job of campaigning personally in the state and is saying things that voters want to hear, and that's manifesting itself in high poll results. Nationally, Trump still leads Carson and the rest of the field, but Levy says winning Iowa is critical for Trump. He should be concerned because a candidate like Trump needs to do very well early in the process. On the other side, Hillary Clinton is widening her lead in the corn state, now 11 points in front of Bernie Sanders, with Joe Biden deciding not to run. Lady says at this stage, polls aren't looked at for how accurate they are, but they do influence the voters. Polls tell very little, but what we know is that voters are affected by them. Polls are important not just because they measure public opinion, but because voters read the polls and they like to go with the winner. A winner who at the moment may not be on top. In Colorado Springs, Eric Fink. KRDO News Channel 13. And as the primary process goes deeper, Levy still expects a Republican candidate with experience as a governor or senator to be the party's nominee. Well, on the other side, the Democratic contingent for president is smaller today. Lincoln